Good morning, my crafty friends. This is Lori, Girl on the Ridge. I have a couple of things I want to share with you. I'm going to go over the envelopes, how I make my envelopes again, because I did a video, and for some reason, if you were on your phone, it just kept buffering and buffering. But on your PC, you could watch it, and I don't know how to fix that. So um, I'm just going to quickly go over how I make the envelopes again, do some layering on tags, and then showing you something that I found, that I refound, I should say. Okay, my envelopes are my big envelopes. And like I said, Char Charlotte Patterson has an awesome tutorial. I took, it is 14 by 8 and a half piece of paper. I just folded the corners, like two and three quarters. I don't usually measure, I just kind of eyeball it. Decide which one's going to be my flap, which one's going to be the bottom. <clears throat> then I took the same size paper, folded it in half, and then just put it over my flap. And then I sewed the bottom. So you have it like this. Now sometimes I'll put some, depending on what I'm using it for, a piece of muslin right here to just strengthen it up. And then I'll just sew around it. And it's this one. And there's your envelope. This is nice and thick. This is two, well, almost, well, yeah, this is two and then three. So it feels nice and thick. And then you can decorate it the way you want. And you can do all sizes. I just have a whole pack of the legal paper. Here in the States, it's just called legal paper, uh, copy paper. And that's how I do my envelopes. So I hope that clears up the people that couldn't see it on um, their phones. Another thing I wanted to show you before we get into layering of tags is sometimes, I don't know, I haven't been myself the last couple weeks. So I just stopped everything and just <laughs> organized and I found this, um, God, I probably had this from the 80s. It's mulberry paper. They called it mulberry paper. I used to get it at Big Lots all the time. It has, if you could see, really fine pieces of, I, I don't really know what it is. Make sure it's coming out. But this is how we used it, and I used it in the graduation book. It's really cool. It's feathery. I just took a paper. Um, paintbrush put it in water and say I want to use just kind of paint where you want to use Say I just want a little square and then you just pull it apart and it's that feathery paper and I do have some other colors but I was working on a red journal and it just I had red here. Because I've tried it dry. I don't know where I've seen it wet, but unless maybe I spilled something on it. And that's, it's a beautiful background. Well, I don't have anything red here, but it just uh, got it to size. It's just so soft. So that's what they, like I said, this was called mulberry paper, but I know mulberry paper is also something else. But this is pretty much from the 80s. So if you ever come across any of that at a garage sale, or they might even still sell it, I'm not sure. So that is that. And then layering of tags. Again, I just cleared everything, started organizing, and I had some old lace. Um, some, this was gifted to me by Crafty Irina, some pink cheesecloth, some doilies, and this is from um, A Tattered Dream, and some sari silk, and some bulb pins, also from A Tattered Dream. And I took, let's see, so you just take three pieces, I, I just happen to have library cards, was so I'm going to frame here. Let's put all the, and I'll do these, let's see, 
is going to be my next book. I'm making a snippet. So they kind of... Yeah, there'll be a tuck spot like that. So being I know that they're going to go into... Let's do a little darker. Let's do brown espresso. I'll do a little... Don't mind my table, because this is my work table. Anything else, and we'll just see how. This one looks really grungy and dirty. Let's see, I had a couple pictures I took out. These I always have on hand. I just love. These are just, I think these are from Pinterest. Then I cut some tags out. I had a punch. So this is like cleaning up my desk tags. Because I don't like the hole. So put that there, there. Gotta have my cheesecloth. So I always have to have something soft underneath your picture or whatever. Then, let's see, I had this. So, um, sometimes I cut it straight, sometimes I don't. So I just have this kind of like maybe the border. Yep. And I'll take a piece of sari silk. Hmm. So what we will just... Put that. Put that up here. This is a tad or is a tab type thing. I like that like that. I'm just gonna put glue on it. Glue that down. Glue that down. Then I always have my little ball pins. And these are also from a Tattered Dream. And I had a bag of cream colored little little, little buttons. Okay, I'll just put them on here. These sometimes I'll just sit by the TV and just I'm almost out of them. That's why I don't have any made. And I just found a big thing of buttons at a garage sale this past weekend. So I can make a much, bunch more. And then I usually just go up into the corner. And I must get another flashlight. I'm doing a video. Silver stone. And there, no sewing, but you have a nice little, no, not done yet. <laughs> and I'll need something here, because I don't like the sharpness. I don't want it even, so we'll just kind of, there. And then if I want to, I can put like a little word. I can put, this is dreams, etc. These are all left over from a project. Can't have the white showing. There, it was a pink. There. And then it'll go. Say somewhere like here, and the tab will be sticking out, and then I'll just make a little packet. Okay, so and I, I only used a couple things. So this one, I will. Let's see, gotta have a doily. And 
and sometimes if I lay it out without gluing it, I change my mind too much. So and then we're gonna do again a little ground espresso. Love my favorite tape. Then let's see. This one. Oh, it's garbage day. I had a garbage truck in the background. Ticket. Piece of cheesecloth. <laughs> I'm thinking I got something at my desk that would look nice, but I'm not getting up. That's the whole point of just working what's in, what's in front of you. So instead, I'll just put... Another little piece of cheesecloth. The little ticket I think is from Ephemerar. The cheesecloth from Crypty Irina, which I haven't heard from lately. Hopefully she's all moved in and coming back soon. Hi, Irene. Here. Then we'll get the ball clip. This one, I had a, I don't know, just a little blank. Um, okay, I hope I'm in frame all this time. A little blank notepad or maybe a school board or something. Okay, I'm gonna have to put a. Oh, I'm sorry, silk. Where'd that go? Yeah, I'm gonna put sorry silk here, so I have something somewhere for my clip to hold on to. Clip it first, and then I'll glue it down. Okay, and then I'm going to take another piece or cut cut this maybe a skinnier piece. Her a little. She looks a little miserable. <laughs> There's a second tag that I would use. Even if it's framed out, maybe like that, and then make a, t a tuck spot like in here. So, in the third one, I was going to use, let's see, yeah, I like the doily again because I got the other half instead of stuffing it <laughs> in my desk. I didn't use that up. The grungy. Okay, 
And then I actually did this one use a little rusty hinge. And I use the same ink pad, even though I got my little dollars. And this is no sewing. I'll show you. I made a bunch the other day, and I'll show you. But I'm after this. I always angle something. I can use a little pink, because I have a little pink up there. Silk. Let's see. This time, place that there. This time, I have a little flower. I'll go here. Sorry, silk. I didn't because I was going too fast. This was like up. I don't care for that. So see, it has like a little banner cut. I just cover that with a piece of lace and a little flower. And here I will just do. Oh, I like another cream color. colored button and sometimes I'll just put it halfway down just to draw your eye there and this will go in one of this this journal that will have a story to it so this will be the house of somebody <laughs> One of the girls you know, so that might be nestled like into that <clears throat> oh that looks pretty so so those are three that's a little tip or not even a tip just how I do my tags with just a couple items so I did them now the other ones I um, was cleaning off my desk where my sewing machine was so I just went wild and I grabbed, and that one's just a um, tag that I sewed. I grabbed some material and paper and just, um, this is from Cat of Dream. And that's just like a little snippet pocket. And then I just was grabbing ephemera with just a little lace. Now I can always add more stuff to this, but now I have a nice pile. This is um, Sue Olson. I this I want to say it's already made and then cheesecloth and then I'll either make a tuck or I can add it to something but now I have stuff that I can grab this is a little um just a piece of vellum and I just stuck uh, I had a whole bunch of fussy cut flowers out like this I just put on a library card this was some a uh, piece of snippet and then I just put some where I didn't even ink them yet because I just needed um my stash is really low this was um, Nectar Creations, and then I can't remember where this flower came from, but they went good, and then I just cheesecloth just to kind of separate the two. And I'll ink them up as I need them in the book. Same thing in this. This was Mary Lou, and I just this was Tsunami Rose, and just cheesecloth. And I know this was Mrs. Coggs, and this was, I think, Mary Lou. It was just a little envelope, and I just put them together. Oh, that one just a tag that I just sewed on uh, computer paper. Another one, Tsunami Rose, I think. And this one was, um, it was Natural History, so I took the tag, and this will be a tuck spot. This I had from a sewing kit, so I just took a picture of it. It was really cute. 
and then I'll just use that in somewhere. Another one of Nectar Creations with lace in the flowers. And this would probably, oh, it'll probably be too big for this book. Oh, even on an envelope. I mean, you can even you know, put it on the bottom of the page and then it sticks out a little. You can even, and I'll let you know how you use that one. This was just a Franken paper. Nick the Booksmith, and I'll probably, I could put a word on it, but it's just ready to go. Those are helpful. Another one of Mary Lou's and Tsunami Rose. Same. And then this is just ticket, and then cheesecloth, and ribbon. And the same. But I got a nice little pile for less than, I don't know, probably took me 20 minutes. Because I just grabbed, I didn't really... And that was a little one, just a little tag. Another one of Mary Lou's, and I had I was playing with the paper or the stitch on top. And then I had um, oh, there's another one. Oh, here's another big one. And these tags are um, for a swap. I'm doing this one was I did some brick in the background and these are just a little more detailed this with the that one came out really pretty and I did a like a snippet tag I think it's a Sue Olson ticket and then just some really pretty stuff together and then this was a um, another kind of Franken paper that I inked up and I just put some aqua in there to Pick up the aqua and the flower. And I think that's it in tags. This is one that I got to start. This is that. Uh, Tim holds the brick that I just did with fire. Fire brick? Or barn door or something. And I'll decorate that. So those are my tags. And the last thing, I made a book page. I found a book for a quarter. Because I have to apologize. I sent out a book page and it had some really bad words in it because I did not pay attention. And I remember Jen Miller's words. And then I just seen Gail's video last night about checking the pages. And I don't know how that slipped through. So I threw everything out. All my book pages went out the door. And I bought this book. And I'm hoping there's nothing bad in this. <laughs> and um, so I will remake all my book pages and stuff. I felt horrible. I thought I checked and it just, it didn't, it was bad. So, um, oh, I started, I have to go through all my uh, Patricia videos again. And this was just a book page. I'm going to say this is um, Dreams, etc. And then I just, just went back to um, doing some more book pages. And that is pretty much, oh, there's another one I did. That's pretty much what I've been up to. And... Back to journal making, and you guys have a beautiful day, and enjoy the weather, and we'll see you soon. Bye.